everyone, this is Dance Crochet and today we're going to learn how to crochet a flower. It's a very easy step and I'm sure you will enjoy creating a flower and adding it to any project you wish. As you can see I have already crocheted two flowers for you just to give you an idea. Before we begin, of course you will need a hook, a 3.50 meters and of course a yarn of your choice. Now we will have to attach a slip knot to our hook. After we've attached a slip knot to our hook, you will then uh, chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Next step is to put the hook into the first chain in order to form a ring. So if you remember correctly, you just put the hook into the first chain, you add the extra yarn on your hook and you pull it under the two loops. And then you've created your own ring. So now our next step is to chain one. And then another five. Yes, in total it's six, but we need to form that first chain so it's easy for us to move our stitch. But also that first uh, chain will help us towards the end. So now that we have five chains, we will simply put the hook in the ring. That's the ring, don't forget. We're going to pass the hook within the ring and we're going to make a slip stitch in the ring. We can make it a little bit tighter and then we'll have to chain one. After chaining one, we're going to add five more chains. And remember, forming those five uh, more chains, what it does, it actually forms our petal. And that's why we make the slip stitch. And if you want, later on while you uh, while you get to know how to crochet a flower even though it's a really easy step you can then maximize your hook to a seven depending of course on the yarn the yarn must be uh, enough or on the right size to use your hook and you can make even bigger flowers or medium flowers it depends to you how and what kind of size you want your flower in order to add it to whatever project you wish. So as you can see again I've chained one then added five more chains and then I made a slip stitch. So basically what I've been doing is repeating this step. Uh, for me it works to have either six or seven um, flower petals. You can make more but when you make more then it looks a little bit overcrowded but I will though make another uh, video on how to make uh, a crochet flower n not as plain as this but I'll make it a more nicer version which I had in mind. I just need to write down the pattern for that but that will be soon. I'll probably find some time to actually make that. So back to our flower. As you can see, I've made actually four, about one, two, three, four, five, five petals. So five petals is an well, it's not enough. I think six is perfect. Otherwise, it looks like a, a half project done. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to make the sixth petal as I said again you chain one and then you add five more chains and then you make a slip stitch and when we're done with our sixth petal simply in order to finish it just go to the petal that's next to it and just uh, put the hook into uh, the closest stitch next to it 
and just you can simply finish it off from there. It's it's not well. That's what I've done, and that's what I've seen in the pattern. It's a little bit random, but it works for me. So now we have our six petals in our flower. Simply you'll have to cut the yarn and make a little knot so it doesn't come out. And then you can hide the tail if you wish. Uh, what I like doing is just putting the tail in front of our flower and just with the hook from the back side of the flower just pull it from there so it's not in the way and the knot itself looks a little bit hidden into the flower and what you need to do next just to hide your uh, tail is simply sew it at the back you need a needle for that so your flower is ready to be added to any project you wish you can actually crochet more flowers maybe put one on top of the other or simply make a flower necklace out of yarn if you wish or use it uh, to decorate either your headband in that case in case your headband is really plain so I've added towards the end of our video how our lovely crochet flower looks like if you like the video subscribe like on Facebook and follow me at Pinterest Thank you for watching Dance Crochet and please be free to ask any questions at the comments section below. Remember you can share your lovely flower creation by uploading them at Dance Crochet Facebook page.